So Donovan Mitchell is just an absolute madman. I mean, this guy just went off for 71 points against the Chicago Bulls. What in the world is going on in Cleveland, man? This guy is cooking up something special. What is going on? I want to welcome you from Math Court. I am Sean Murphy, and today we got to talk about the offensive boom that's going on in the NBA. Luka Doncic this last week going off for a 60, 20, and 10 game. Donovan Mitchell going for 71 and 11 against the Chicago Bulls this last evening. What in the heck is happening? We're seeing scoring at a level that we haven't seen in a long time. I mean, this is the first 70 point game since Devin Booker did it in Boston. This has been a long time coming, and the fact that it was done by Donovan Mitchell in the fashion that he did it, it to force a game to go to overtime, to bring the Cleveland Cavaliers over the top, to break franchise records that were held by LeBron James, and all, doing all of this within the first three months of being a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers, Donovan Mitchell is flat out special. And I think if, if anything... We're seeing what he can do in a situation that's best for him in a, in a circumstance and a roster that fits him adequately when he's not around Rudy Gobert, who we've seen is an offensive, you know, nuisance, a guy that, you know, is a detractor from your offense, being around the guys that he is in Cleveland and also having that, you know, having that almost that, that need to prove himself again, it's clear that that has been immense and that has been huge for his game. Donovan Mitchell has shown instead of being of having the potential to be one of the best players in the NBA that he is one of the best NBA players in the world. It's no argument now that Donovan Mitchell's top 10. He's there fully. And the Cleveland Cavaliers are not in a situation where they can contend soon, where they can contend next year, where they can potentially compete and get to the playoffs and maybe make a run one of these years. They can compete right now because of their elite bigs in their in their defensive versatility with Evan Mobley and Jarrett Allen and what they bring to the table with Donovan Mitchell's clutch play and his ability to score alongside a guy like Darius Garland who can light it up any night at his own right alongside bench pieces like Kevin Love. You bring the roster that this has as a whole that they have as a whole. You have to love what is cooking in Cleveland. Part of what's made Donovan Mitchell go from being such a good player to being one of the best in the league is his overall IQ. And one of the best plays that he made in this game, it wasn't a dunk. It wasn't a flashy play. It was a effort play that forced this game to go to overtime. And it was the exact type of play that Luka Doncic used to close out a game the other night. The fact that we are seeing players showcase their ability to get the ball back and purposefully miss free throws is one of the most impressive things I've seen in a long time. And the fact that Donovan Mitchell manages to do it in a situation and get the ball back and force the game to overtime. First of all, this is an embarrassment by the Chicago Bulls. The fact that they allowed this to happen in the first place, especially you have a guy like Andre Drummond, Patrick Williams, Zach Levine, Nikola Vucevic. You have your best rebounders in the game. Guys who are some of the best rebounders in the NBA. And you're letting Donovan Mitchell get past you to get that ball? Let alone, you're letting Donovan Mitchell score 71 points on your franchise? What the f*** is going on in Chicago, man? What is in the water there? And it's not just the fact that he put up this big statistical number. It's not just the fact that he put up 71 points. It's the fact that Donovan Mitchell put up 71 points in a fashion that both brought the Cleveland Cavaliers back into a game, but also but also elevated the Cavaliers to getting a victory. That's something that few players can do in this league, let alone to do it in the fashion where you have to go out and score 71 points to make it happen. That is flat out special. And you have guys like Isaac Okoro on his bench that are literally standing there shocked and you can read their lips saying, what am I watching? That's the type of performance that Donovan Mitchell put on display. And we're just two days in the 2023. Like, what is happening?
Not only is Donovan Mitchell averaging career bests and career highs in points per game, he's also upping his efficiency. He's improving as a defensive player. He's improving as a playmaker. Ever since coming to the Cleveland Cavaliers, it seems that Donovan Mitchell has fully embraced being the franchise player, the cornerstone piece, and seems like he really has embraced being the guy for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the fact that they have not one, but two potential all NBA type players on their team and Evan Mobley and Donovan Mitchell, even a guy like Darius Garland, you could throw in that argument most certainly. But the fact that you even have world-class defensive bigs like Jared Allen, who can also, by the way, do something on the offensive end. Rudy Gobert, you should take notes on that. That's something you should do, Rudy Gobert. But anyway, the fact that they have all these pieces working together. If the Cleveland Cavaliers decide to go and, and be aggressive at this trade deadline, who would blame them? Who wouldn't want to be cashing in on this type of run, on these, on these types of performances? I mean, 71 points. He is the seventh player in the history of the NBA to score 70 points in a game. This is rarefied air amongst rarefied air. And the fact that Spider Mitchell put himself in this conversation at 26 years old, in his first three months in Cleveland, they are cooking something special. This is one of the best league pass teams. This is one of the best teams in the NBA. Donovan Mitchell might be the best shooting guard in the league. Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell, the amount of guys that we have that are that are stepping into stride and are elevating their games to a different level is unprecedented. And the crazy thing is that Donovan Mitchell went out and did this. And he might not even be top five in the MVP conversation right now because we have so many different players that have genuine claims and legitimate arguments to win that award. This might be one of the craziest seasons we have ever seen from a superstar output standpoint for what these guys are doing in the regular season for the amount of 50-point games I've seen, the amount of 40-point games I've seen. This is unprecedented. And the NBA, quite frankly, this has been the most entertaining it's ever been to watch. And the biggest thing that I have to live with as a Detroit Pistons fan is that Stan Van Gundy, that bastard, decided to draft Luke Kennard over Donovan Mitchell. I have to watch this guy in my division knowing that we could have had him. He was in our lap. You son of a bitch, Stan. Anyway, Donovan Mitchell is one of my favorite players in the league. So to see him not only use this fresh start and embrace it, but also take his game to the next level because of it, and also take a roster and in a city in Cleveland, a team that outside of LeBron James has seen little to no success in the NBA, and to have this new chapter and identity and this new potential future that they have, this is one of the most promising teams in the NBA. And even if Donovan Mitchell doesn't win the individual accolades, even if he's not seen as the MVP, he can go and certainly add some Larry O'Brien trophies to that to that resume and put an ad and stack up some some pretty damn good accolades in that sense in the trophy case. And quite frankly. If he keeps putting up performances like this and he shows up the way that he has in the playoffs before, if we see Bubble Donovan Mitchell in the playoffs for this Cleveland team, it might be a wrap for a lot of these teams in the East, man. I'm going to be honest with you. What do you think of this 71-point outburst by Donovan Mitchell? What do you think of all of these crazy scoring performances that we're seeing? How is this going to potential? How is it going to possibly keep up and are we going to see somebody break Wilt's record soon? Because it feels like it's a possibility. Luka Doncic is a mad man. But with that, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure you subscribe, and we will catch you guys next time from Half Court.